Will you state your name for the folks at home? Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Need you no more. <laughs> do you know these two ladies that are sitting behind me, Joseph? I do, sir. Who are they? One would be my beautiful wife, Kim, and my lovely daughter, Caitlin. I see. And why are you all here this evening? Ah, because my wife is a great fan of yours. Ah, your wife is a great fan of mine. <laughs> the truth is revealed. <laughs> yes, but you, Joe, not so much, I hear. This is true. What do you prefer in late night, Joe? Something that you can find on your computer? Yes. <laughs> Where are you from, Joe? Tucson. Tucson, Arizona? Yes. They've got one of the best air museums in the country. Thank you very much. Is it yours? <laughs> it is not mine. Do, are you in any way responsible for it? Not in the least. Well, then don't thank me. You are in no way responsible for that air museum. <laughs> what do you do there in Arizona on your computer? <clears throat> I don't think we can talk about that on the air. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. <laughs> what, is, what does he do? What does he do? I'm not so sure. You don't know? <laughs> I think I know. I do. <laughs> what does he do? Dirty things. <laughs> Dirty things. <laughs> really? Really. <laughs> you get into that hand sanitizer over there? <laughs> well. Good news, Joe and family who are very understanding about Joe's computer thing. <laughs> We're sending you to a restaurant, which is? Café La Boheme. Café La Boheme. Oh. It's named after a cafe. <laughs> Thank you very much. And there you will eat for free. Thank you very much. Mm, you're welcome. <laughs> I feel Thank weird, though, that you haven't told us what you do on the computer. But Well, uh, what I do on the computer is what most people do on a computer. I just look things up and read news and check out sports and do things you can't talk about on television. <clears throat> He's a spy. Sponsored by Kayak.com. Compare hundreds of travel sites at once. Kayak. Search one and done. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for your weary faces, but it actually sounds good. <laughs> see, what you can't see at home is the audience going, hey! <laughs> but it is a great day. You know what? I, this is the day I wait for all year. Oh, yeah. I love it because it is, you know, if you know me at all, you know I love Cher. And it is her birthday today. She is 67 years old. Happy birthday, Cher. It should be noted, though, uh, very, that uh, many parts of Cher are not even close to being 67 years old. <laughs> Although, she still looks fantastic. Do we have a picture of Cher? There she is, an American president. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I'm excited. You know, you know I'm excited tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited. Here's how you can tell. Nipples. Here's... 
I said it high like that. Yeah, like that. Nipples. You, can, you don't even have to do that. You can just say it. Nipples. Penis. <laughs> no, no, no. If I was doing that, then I would say, penis. Nipples. Penis. No, look, stop it. Anyway, look, here's why I'm excited. We're almost done with May sweeps. <laughs> Sweeps, that's the time when the networks pull out of the, all the stops to get the ratings. Do we, have a gra do we have a graphic for Sweeps? Come on. <laughs> it's nothing to do with Sweeps, but it's the best graphic. It is the best graphic. <laughs> sweeps, if you don't know, it's very important to, to the likes of us that work in television because, you know, this is when you've got to amp up your game, which I think is not right. You know, a lot of shows, they amp up their game, and I think for people who watch every night, they think, what, well, we don't matter the rest of the time? Yeah, yeah. So, tonight, I have decided to provide the same level of crap as I always <laughs> provide. It won't be any better. <laughs> In fact, as we continue with the show at this point, I think it's probably on the downside. Yeah, it's getting worse. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. this year, a lot of shows are pulling crazy stunts. Uh, let's see, what are they doing? On, on Glee, one of the actors is going to come out as straight. Uh, <laughs> you got any, Jeff? Yeah, on The Voice, uh, Shakira's hips are going to lie. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, here's one. <laughs> On Keeping Up with the Kardashians, they're circumcising Chloe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, wait a minute. No, no, wait, 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 wait. You do not get to ooh me and then applaud when I call you on the ear. Like, oh, we didn't ooh you. We were actually applauding. You heard me. You're like, oh, Craig, come on. The Kardashians are our favorite. Then I called you on it. And you were like, oh, we like that joke, really. Yeah. No, it was a terrible joke. But you ooed, and that's what gave you away. Same crap as always, folks. Actually, a little on the downside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the ratings, uh, the, 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 they do this for the ratings. The ratings experts say the best way to get people to watch during sweeps is to leave an audience with a question that won't be answered until the next time the show is on. You know, like, who shot JR? Or I, I like to think every night when people watch this show, the question is, is this still on? <laughs> Why is this on? Oh, has he got the same... Is it on? <laughs> Personally, I never look at the Nielsen ratings for this show. I, I might subconsciously affect how I interact with the audience, and I prefer to judge the performance of this show on its artistic impact. <laughs> 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 By artistic impact, I mean the number of complaints we receive. We're up 30% year to year in key demos. I don't think you want, you don't want to win the ratings in late night anyway. Look what happened at NBC. Look what happened. Who Number one on NBC for what 20 years? Who is it? Who is it? Jay Leno. Jay Leno. What? Well, fired! Fired twice! <laughs> twice! <laughs> I don't know what it means either. <laughs> it was like, oh well, well done, Jay. That was great. You're fired. <laughs> what you try and do in late night is try not to annoy the press. That's all you do. Just try to fly below the radar. The radar? You know the radar. The radar, yeah. Below the yeah. radar. I nearly, nearly got into a dangerous accent joke there. Yeah, yeah. Got to be careful. Can't make fun of people's accents unless they're Scottish, apparently. Or French. French, sure, yeah. Or German. Oh, Germans always. Fun. Yeah, you can always make fun of the Germans. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, look at this. There's a tiny blip on my radar. Oh, yeah. The thing, the thing you have to do is you have to fly below the radar. <laughs> and then you get, why does they fire Jay Leno? I just I don't understand. <laughs> they fired him twice. Why? No, it's, it's he great. was he was the winner. He was the leader of late night. He was, if you will, the Führer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Führer's a German word. It means leader. Leave me alone. The hell it does, man. doesn't it? Yeah. Well, there you are then. This is it funny. must be embarrassing, though, if you're, like, the leader of a, a team, of like, a, a volleyball team or something now in Germany, and they say, who's the Führer? <laughs> you go, <laughs> that guy, and he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> it doesn't mean the same thing in volleyball as it means elsewhere. I'm over here. Hello. <laughs> well, a uh, bit on the down cycle, but we got through it. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I, think it's, I think it's on the way, way up. Back. 
Uh, I think we're below the lidar still yeah, a maybe. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what this crappy show means, though? Not getting fired. <laughs> We've got LIDAR. Do you know what LIDAR is short for in German? What's that? Lederhosen. Is that, is that right? Le that's, you know what Lederhosen means? No. Leather hosen. Hosen. Yeah. Leather it's hosen. leather pants. Have you got leather pants? Sure. I used to wear leather pants in the 80s. <laughs> I did. I did used to wear leather pants. Never and heard. I would keep my cocaine in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't keep cocaine around for very long, can you, Jeff? No, no, you can't. Not when you're wearing leather pants. Uh, <laughs> CBS cares. Um, but, uh, I'm going to start talking like this a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, you like this? Yeah. Sure. Why don't you talk like this? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. No, you can't. Your yeah. mouth is in exactly the same place as it was when you was talking normally. Where do you think I keep my cocaine? Yeah. Hey, underneath that podium there, is she's wearing leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got leather pants, see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing how you can keep the accent up, but I seem to have wandered into some sort of Transylvanian accent. I like that, do that, 19th Yeah, I'm sort of, sort of gone from gangster to a little bit more like Dracula. It's... We got you surrounded, Dracula. Come on out with you. Y'all never take me alive, copper. <laughs> Probably because yeah. I'm not alive. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Please, don't applaud. I can only have applause from my native land. The hell's going on over there? Uh, I've decided to oh, be Dracula now. I'll like be Dracula that. now. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah, all right. I'll be Dracula and you'll be a cop. Yeah. Come all on right. out, Dracula, with your cape up. If I come out, will you get me a plane? Yeah, we'll get you a plane. What else do you want? Shoes. <laughs> All right, boys, get him shoes and a plane. You heard the man. No, no, I, I'm not finished. I also want some comic books. All right, shoes, play. What kind of comic book, Dracula? Have you got any of the uh, old Spider-Mans? No, we just got some Archie. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, good. And see. All right. Uh, <laughs> why is this still on? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pitt? It's Tweet Mail Time, brought to you by Denture Adhesive. Smile with confidence, target demographic. <laughs> <laughs> and that was tonight's joke for senior citizens. You got our graphic? Yeah. Come on. All right, this is from Xavier in Paris, France. Uh, Xavier is one of them uh, Frenchmen. The French people. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we do it in a French accent? Yeah, people people in France love that when you do that. Really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Dear Craig, it's getting bad over here with our austerity budget problems. Would you consider coming here to help? Oui. <laughs> eh, no. This is from Lisa in Little Rock, Arkansas. You ever been to Arkansas? Beautiful place, yeah. Ah, what a place. Oh, you, yeah. Don't you own a laundry yeah, in Arkansas? Yeah, I got a couple places. Oh, really? What? You, yeah. you, a, a little laundry and laundry what else? Laundry and uh, I think it's, it's a barbecue uh, stand. <laughs> All right, dear Craig and Jeff, on balance, do you think women really are worse drivers than men? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> this has got nothing to do with gender, uh, how you drive. <laughs> I'm sending you secret messages. <laughs> no, I think women, are, I think that actually the opposite is true. I think women are usually uh, better drivers than men. And I think that because I'm heterosexual and I enjoy getting laid. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks, Lesbian Row. <laughs> this is uh, uh, from Robert in Hobart, Australia, but it says Robert, not my real name. 
then Robert, not my real show. <laughs> uh, so this is from Amber in Houston, Texas. I'm trying to fill up my MP3 player and I'm looking for suggestions. Could you give me a couple? Liberace. Liberace. Oh, yeah. Excellent uh, choice of music. I, I love the work of, uh, what's that guy I like again? It's, uh, uh, who's that, Danny Kay? Danny who's Kay, that? yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Danny yeah. Kay. Danny Kay. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, I know he's great, but, you know, I mean, the kid's got an MP3 player. You I know, love it's it. like yeah. looking for, like, I don't know, a code play or something. Yeah, the letter was written by a kid who has an MP3 player. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but what do they call them now then? I don't know what they call them. What I don't do they call them? legally allowed to say what they call them. Oh, uh, an iPhone? Oh, dear. No, oh, dear. Ah! <laughs> uh, what do we call them? Smartphones? And they, uh, the one I like is tablet. Tablet. Yeah, you've got to say tablet instead <laughs> of an iPad. Uh, everybody's like, oh, you can't say you got to say tablet because, you know, everyone, all the kids are saying tablet. None of the kids are saying tablet. <laughs> Do you say tablet? Yeah, a bunch of corporate goons. <laughs> who's, who's the corporate? I'm the corporate? No, 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 man. No, no. <laughs> Don't call me a corporate goon. No, 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 no. No. I am a bit. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, not, I'm more a corporate whore. Well, that's different. It yeah, is yeah. different. It means yeah. I accept money to pretend that I like them. I like this. I like this part. I like when you do this. You like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit of awkwardness yeah. with the camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this has gone on too long, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you going? What are you looking at? <laughs> Time for a quiet moment? All right, then. Go. tonight is a movie star yeah let's try it again a movie star her latest film is a little independent film you might not have heard of it it's called the hangover part three which is in theaters on Thursday take a look at this <laughs> Heather Graham everybody Very nice indeed, if I may say so. You look really nice too, and I love that tie. You're acting. <laughs> I can tell you're acting. Right? You're no, using your you... powers of acting to distract no. me. Oh, why do you think so lowly of yourself? You're so hot. That's definitely <laughs> acting. That's definitely <laughs> How are you, dear? You look... Congratulations on the Hangover thing. That's the biggest move. It's the Lord of the Rings of Stoners. <laughs> That's what we were going for. Yeah. It's really, I mean, it's a massive franchise. Well, this yeah. is the last one, but still, it's yeah. great. It's fun to be in it. Yeah. Sure. Are you still yeah. a stripper in this one? Well, I'm pregnant, and I guess, you know, I'm a suburban mom. Oh. We didn't get to see that, but yeah, my dreams came true. <laughs> if you had to describe yourself, this is you, right? Yeah. Not your character, but yeah. you. If you, are you more stripper or more suburban mom? Not actually, not actually, but like in the way you think. Well, but don't you think every stripper dreams of being a suburban mom? Don't you think every suburban mom dreams of being a stripper? <laughs> That's true. I mean, I think you got to have a little bit of both, right? I, what to I be think like we're saying is person, women are complicated. you got to have both. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not just one thing. They're many things. And good drivers, too. Yes. Are you a good driver? I'm a really good driver. I feel like that's in a movie somewhere. <laughs> dance because it was so cute and I was like that looks fun you're a good why are you such a good dancer well it's because I'm needy uh, really? would you ever go on Dancing with the Stars 
I don't think I would, but no. I do love dancing. I did learn how to swing dance, and I know how to salsa dance. I, I can salsa dance. Do you? I learned for a movie. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's fantastic. Wow. It's very sexy. I want to learn how to tango, too, because that's all about, like, Ooh, yeah, eye yeah. contact. I don't know if I could quite keep it together, though. I think I'd want to have sex with my partner if I... Uh, <laughs> these guys look so hot when they're dancing around like that. Would you go... I mean, those girls look so hot when they're dancing around like that. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Everybody looks so hot when they're dancing they around. They do. Would it's you? very sexy. Yeah. Have dancing you ever been to South awesome. America? I'm going to go with a hangover. I'm so excited because we're doing this press tour, right? So right. we're going to London, Paris, and we're going to Brazil. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. But of course, I would also like to go to Argentina. We're not going there, but to do the tango. Well, you got some money. Go down to Argentina that's right, then. I, I should. But I'm working right now on a TV show, actually, with David Duchovny. And he said he was the first guest on your show. He was the first guest on my show. Yeah. He touched me. <laughs> so I let him be first guest on the oh show. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Was it good? Like, he's what are great. the details no. of this? David's a very nice man. He's do you so know him? Nice. He loves you because I told him I was doing this. And he's like, oh, you're doing the fun one. That's what he said, the fun one. I but have I gotta no idea him. what you mean. Well, I have to ask him about this whole sexual harassment thing. No, he didn't harass me sexually. I mean, he touched me with his genius, is what I mean. Okay. Da David or he, maybe you harassed him sexually. Well, I did yeah. harass him a little bit yeah, sexually. Yeah. You know, sort of, just a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, tried to kiss him. Yeah. Well, he loves you. He was just saying he loves you. Yeah, obviously not enough to kiss me, but there you are. That's yeah, the yeah, way it yeah, is. Yeah. What are you doing with him? Um, Californication. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. show. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Do you make out with him in this show? I haven't yet, but I have a feeling that I might eventually. Because everyone makes out with him on that show, right? Yeah, whether it's on camera or not, eventually <laughs> you're going to make out. Do you, ever get, uh, do you ever get kind of weird about that? I mean, I've asked this of actors before. Like, do you ever, like, make out with someone that's, like, repeated scenes and eventually you think, I think it's getting through. <laughs> you ever had one of those? What do you mean it's getting through? Well, it, you're starting to, you know... Get person. into it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> answer that right yeah you TV, do yeah you, know? you do know how to answer it. no I remember once when I was kissing a girl in a movie and I uh, and uh, I was like wait a minute I'm kissing this girl I'm this is not I'm kissing her yeah it was awesome <laughs> it's awesome right yeah, yeah. I was like whoa do you but wait do you have dance in your background because I heard something about you in your what? background dance path yeah yeah I did dance a bit when I was I was in the American modern dance theater when I was 21 That's so cool yeah all bongos and everyone sleeping with each other it was fantastic <laughs> Do you have dance in your back? Did you ever dance? No, but I just, the idea of you doing modern dance, it made me feel really happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, I want to see, like, a move, like, a modern dance. Like, was it really weird, or was yeah, it... Yeah, yeah, it was kind yeah. of, you know, it was strange, and... Uh, eh. <laughs> I mean, I could do it then. We're talking 25, 26 years So you years must be ago. really athletic, right? I was it, then. Yeah. yeah, not now. So no, you I'm won't like, do any more... <laughs> You won't do like a modern dance move right now? No, I no. couldn't do it. Could okay. you do a modern dance move? Like... <laughs> oh, well, I can do that. I thought you meant something with, no, something something with good. hips. Okay, no. You gave me a lisp there. Do you notice that? I just guess I'm nervous. You're nervous, so I get a lisp. <laughs> oh, I gave you. I thought you said you gave me. No, no, no. Oh, wait, so you got nervous with a lisp? Or you... Yeah, I get a little nervous. Sometimes uh, I get nervous okay. around very beautiful women. You're very beautiful, and I get... That's so sweet. Well, it's Thank true. You. you know, I get a little bit oh. kind of like, oh, wow. <laughs> That's cute. You must think men are stupid. Because <laughs> they are like, I'm sure a lot of men come up to you and kind of are not at their best. They get a little flustered. <laughs> you know, they get kind of like, so uh, 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 you, you want to see it? Want to see things? <laughs> Want to see how many push-ups I can do? Look at this! No, when I was a kid growing up, I was really actually nerdy, and I, I had braces and headgear, and I couldn't get boys to pay attention to me. So even though now I, I know that guys do pay attention to me sometimes, yes, they do. I still feel like, like a nerd. So if guys pay attention to me, I sometimes just feel like so flattered. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. You know, I was, uh, when I was little, I was a fat kid, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get a late-night talk show. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> And now I have one, and I'm not really that fat, but I feel like I'm fat. I feel like I'm fat I all the time. I had neck gear, you know, that goes in and comes around and attaches to the back with a rubber band, and I wore it to school. <laughs> you know, but your teeth are lovely now. I mean, I look mean at they're them. okay. You, no, they're great. You could, like, have an apple and just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I know. Yeah. Well, we've slipped quite naturally into an awkward pause. So I, think that we... I was enjoying your quiet moment. It was, like, so peaceful backstage. Oh, well, we can have one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you want. We can have a quiet <laughs> moment or a sexy dance or an awkward pause. Oh.
But the sexy dance sounds really sexy fun, too. Sexy dance is fantastic. But then I have to dance, too, not just you, right? Yeah, you can do what you want. I mean, you don't okay. have to actually dance. I don't okay. want you to feel exploited in any I was way. dancing backstage, and I saw you and the horse. Like, I was trying to do your moves. Well, no, no we won't do that. Okay. The sexy dance is when the horse backs it on up. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, no, it gets pretty steamy. Wow. Yeah. You want to do it? Okay. All right, then. I mean... Hello, everybody. I had to undo my tie. I feel like I've been wearing it for two weeks this night. <laughs> That's what happens with Heather Graham. You know, she's all like, oh, you're so cute. I'm like, oh. <laughs> But that's not creepy at all. My next guest is the co-creator of Game of Thrones, which is a little show on Sunday nights on HBO. Take a look. <laughs> David Benioff, everybody. David Benioff. David, it's, it's lovely to see you. Congratulations on uh, Game of Thrones. It seems like f a few people like it. Thank you, sir. It's huge. Yeah. Man. It's huge. It's, it's crazy. You must be a billionaire now. We no, I'm far from billionaire, but uh, I'm not. You're richer than I am. No, I'm not rich at all. I spent all my money on frisbees and uh, stuff for Heather Graham. <laughs> <laughs> And my cup, of course. That's a fancy cup. That's yeah, a fancy cup. It doesn't measure. Yours is not fancy, but uh, it's my show. Doesn't like, <laughs> on Game of Thrones, do you have your own fancy cup? Uh, it's not With a dragon's cool. head no and everything? I should get one of those. Yeah, you That's should. A good idea. The show is really good. I think. I don't know. You've I haven't seen watched. any of it. You've never watched. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the thing. I, I, I saw the title sequence last night for the yeah. first time, okay. and I'd never seen anything else, and I was about to watch it, and then I thought, I can't. I can't start now. I'll have to go back to the beginning and watch it from the beginning. Right. But we employ half your country on that show. I mean, everyone who works on the crew is Scottish. So I feel like you should, should watch. No, I want to watch it because of two things. One, I've heard that, that it's very good. And right. two, I've heard there's a lot of bare naked ladies. In it. <laughs> and uh, those are the kind of things that I like. A good storyline and boobies. You yeah, got me. We have those two things. So. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Do you ever get a little kind of like, like, do you write in the boobies? Or who makes the booby decisions? <laughs> Do you know, you're like, she walks in and uh, her top's off. Uh, I'm just, I'm imagining watching this now with my wife. Uh, uh, yeah, we make the decision of which scenes are going to, you know, we have the brothel scenes and there are... Well, that's easy. If it's a right. brothel scene, you go right. in the brothel scene, all right. the, all the, you it's know... It's not that easy, Craig. Those brothel scenes take a lot of work. Yeah, I bet they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, what about uh, what about writing another book? Your last book, City of Thieves, was fantastic. I loved that book. Thank you so Could have done with some more boobies Thank in it. If I, if I have to. No boobies in it. Um, no. You know, Game of Thrones is, is 52 weeks a year, so there hasn't been any time for anything else until that ends, until HBO cancels us. Yeah, they're not going to do it. They got nothing, pal. They, I mean, they're, <laughs> you're I'm, it for them. Veep is good. Well, Veep's good. That's true, Girls yeah. Girls is great. Yeah, okay. So they got Veep and Girls and You. I mean, that's it. They're going to keep Board, you. No, Boardwalk Empire is a great show. Oh, knock it off. All right. What is this? An HBO commercial? <laughs> Fine. You got some good stuff. But I thought you were going to put me in the last season of it. The last yeah, thing you were no, here. This summer you're coming over. Right. Yeah. So I can be in this summer? Yeah, but can we put a beard on you? Yeah. Do I have to show my boobies? Because I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, I want to be definite in Definite boobies. Maybe an axe. I'm picturing yeah. you, axe, long hair, beard. It's like you know me. Yeah. <laughs> that, I'll wear that to the set. I'll wear, I'm ready. <laughs> your outfit from uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a cartoon, though. You do know yeah. that, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I... So you guys live in Ireland the, whole, the year round? We live right? in Northern Ireland, in Belfast. Northern yeah. Ireland, yeah. Okay, that's right. I don't want to get into Does that, though. You understand that, yeah. right? <laughs> We're not getting into that conversation. We can't. Let's leave that one aside. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs>
<laughs> you having a night? Have you tried soda bread? Uh, yeah, of course. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But you, you've kept your shape. <laughs> like, you've got your figure. You're slim. Well, you didn't know me back in the day. I'm well, you were, like, really, really thin. <laughs> I was uh, I was the high school runt. I was the smallest kid in my high school class. What happened? Ninety four pounds. Well, you got really tall. I got tall. Did you have braces that make you hot when you're no, older? No, no. Because apparently these braces make you smoking but hot when you get older. It's one of those things. Have you ever noticed every time a beautiful actress is on a talk show, she always talks about how ugly she was back yeah. in high school? Yeah, I don't buy it. Don't buy well, it. your wife is a beautiful actress. Does she talk about how ugly she was? No, she was pretty in high school. I've seen the pictures. Right. She was pretty in high school, and I'm willing to bet Heather Graham was really beautiful back then. Yeah, I, I think that whole headgear thing's not true. <laughs> Do you uh, do you do the casting for Game of Thrones? Yeah. See, I've always wondered, but that's kind of tricky because you know you're um, you're sitting there and you're judging people on their acting ability, right? And that's one thing. And well, is this the right person for it? But are you uh, at any point thinking, wonder what her boobies look like? <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't ask. You can't say, hey, you know, there's a lot of booby work in Game of Thrones, so can we have a flash just yeah. to see? Um, it, it's come up. The thing that worries us, it, you know, it's a medieval fantasy show, so it's, it's a time before there were implants. Of course. So what worries yeah. us really is just you cast them. It's, it's a tricky question. You know, we love, you you, we love your work, but are those real? You, you know, it's not. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you watch the show when it goes out? Yes, I watch it with my wife when it airs. Why? I mean, presumably you've... <laughs> no, no, it's because, a fair question. I, you've seen it many I've times it before that, right? Times, hundreds of times, but what's interesting is watching it with someone who has not seen it hundreds oh, of times. Oh, so she doesn't see it until that point? No, 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 she doesn't see All right. it. And I'm not allowed to tell her anything. I can't spoil anything. So I have to be careful, because sometimes she'll see me typing on my laptop next to her, and she'll look over and she'll see something, someone so-and-so dies, and she freaks out and, and hits me. <laughs> well, um, she, she could also say, I don't want that to happen. She could, but I... So you, like, you can't kill him off. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. And I say just go drive somewhere. Oh, 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 yeah. That's the bit you want us to cut out right there. <laughs> I tell... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with David Benioff. <laughs> Terrible job. You no. see me flying a plane. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Women are great drivers, aren't they, David? We weren't talking about that a little bit. You were saying that you're the terrible driver and your wife's a great driver, right? The truth is, I am the terrible driver. Just driving here today, yeah. that was horrible. I was, because I'm a New Yorker. I grew up in New York. Yeah. So it's just like all the terrible habits you grow up. I th I, when I lived in New York, I didn't have a car. There was no point. Right. I didn't have one growing up, but then when I lived in Brooklyn after college, then I had one, and it was back. So, you so that hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Yeah, all that stuff. This, this is good dialogue for... For, 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 <laughs> for Game of Thrones? Yeah, character. yeah, all right. Uh, we, need, hey. <laughs> we need a name for your character. A name for my character? Fergus. What about... Flargonord. Flargonord. <laughs> Flargonord. Fergus is all right, though. I'll take Fergus. Fergus. I don't think you can put me in it, because people will go, why is the late night douche in my favorite <laughs> show? <laughs> We're going to put a giant beard on you, all right. so they don't say why. Well, they'll me. go, look, the late night douche has a beard on him, and then... You can say douche? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Just don't flip anyone off, and we'll be good. <laughs> So listen, I asked you, are you going to write another book or no? What's happening? Yes, I'm going to write another book. I have the story, and I just honestly don't have time to right now because Game of Thrones is, is uh, 52 weeks a year. But I, I, uh, I, You excited. have the whole story, like, ready in your head? I have the f characters, and I know how it ends. That's enough. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's enough. That's how I start. Who do you read? Who do you like to read? Like, for recreation. Who do I like to read for recreation? Yeah, like novelists, maybe. Should I give a pretentious answer or kind of the... Give both. Give the pretentious one and then the real one. <laughs> The pretentious answer. I, I mean, I love Hemingway. I, I just, everything Hemingway wrote, uh, right. I love. Uh, the non-pretentious would be, there's a great crime writer, George Pelicanos. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know both of these gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, not personally, but... George wrote a series of books, Right as Rain. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, really good. It's fantastic, yeah. Did you ever read, I'm reading something now that I think you'd really enjoy. Did you ever read J.B. Priestley? 
No, I know his name, but I... He was a, a, an English novelist, and uh, uh, he died, I think, in 1974. So, like, 1894, uh, 1974, something like that. Really odd. Hmm. Odd, an odd kind of um, uh, mid-century British writer. I think you'd like it. Okay. I've got no anecdotal <laughs> reason to tell you that, but I think you'd, you'd like Bruce it. Lee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one I'm reading now called Festival at Farnbridge. It's about a festival at Farnbridge. <laughs> It's not a catchy title. It's a terrible title for a very weird book. Yeah. Yeah. You, do, you can't picture that title on a marquee. And well, festival, well, unless you're in Farbridge and it's festival right. time, and then, <laughs> then you'd be like, wow, it's, it's not catchy. It's like it's here. Game of Thrones. Game, Game of, of Thrones, Thrones is a catchy, not, I didn't come up with it, so I can brag about it. You know, George Martin comes up with it. I don't time. know how good a title Game of you Thrones you is, like actually. Thrones? Yeah, no. I think, you know, Throne of Games. <laughs> Game of Thrones, it's really catchy. Yeah, of course it's very catchy. I mean, it's like it's like me saying to somebody, oh, the Beatles, that'll never work. Of course it's catchy. <laughs> mm. Titles are tough. Yeah, they are. Time, City of Thieves was, was months and months of coming up with really crappy titles that my editor said, there's no way anyone's going to buy a book called Crappy Douche or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. And find bad stuff in Leningrad. Bad stuff. In yeah, Leningrad. it was better than most of my options. I'm bad at titles. No, Did it, you come you're up good with at writing. No. Right away? Huh? Did you come up with your titles right away? No, I, it takes me. A, usually, the title leads to something else. Like if I, I wrote a book called Between the Bridge and the River, and I, that, it kind of came to me about halfway through the book. See, that's pretty good. But American on Purpose, that's a great title. Yeah, that's a good title. I think that, that's kind of obvious, though. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But, like I became no an American on purpose. Yeah. But so did so did millions of other people, and no one else called their book American on purpose. Well, millions of other people didn't didn't write that book, did they? Uh, so it wasn't obvious. It well, wasn't. I see where you are. Yeah. Well, this has been great. Uh, <laughs> it's a good. But we have to go. Um, well, we we don't have to be you. I have you to have to get back to Ireland and and do some more booby casting. <laughs> Real booby. Real booby Real casting. Booby. Yeah, very important. Yeah, don't even so do I get the booby check for my beard? Well, the beard will be big enough to cover up the... Uh... Are yours real? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take your word on it. It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> David Benioff, everybody. We'll be right back. Here, Jeff, it's like a scene from Game of Thrones. <laughs> like a giant rhino is going to breathe fire on me. Fire. Is there a rhino in Game of Thrones? Yeah, there I'm might be. I don't know. I'm not... You haven't watched it? What's that? You haven't watched well, it? You watch it. No, no, I don't, I've never seen it. Really? No, yeah, I I'm going to watch all of them. All right, I promise. I'm going to start watching all of them now. Like right, like right now? Right now. Good night, everybody. Right now. Good night, good night, good night.